Yeah, what's up humans, beautiful humans? Uh, I thought I'd do a little review of the Art of Living Happiness program that I just completed. You know, it's one of those things. I've been following uh, Sri Sri for a while now. Here's a picture of me with him. Look, 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 first of all, look how happy I am with this guy. Seriously, I could feel his essence in the picture. I'm not even kidding. And, and I was talking about it with the other teachers and stuff, and they're like, yeah, yeah. Like, apparently, uh, he just goes around asking everyone if they're happy all the time. That's his thing. He's just happy all the time. And when you meet him, he's like, are you happy? <laughs> and this is whatever you say, you're happy because like his aura is like beautiful and i could feel it in the picture i swear to god i'm not joking i could feel it holding the picture i was like whoa i just i didn't want to give the picture up i was walking around for like three minutes going hey i'm not done I'm, fuck off this, i love him i want to hold the picture so he he's he's really amazing and also the work he's doing globally uh is really really amazing so he he's really one of my uh spiritual teachers more so really than in his example of how he lives his life and what he's doing and the fact that he's freaking happy all the time and helping everybody uh more so than specifically like you know this teaching or anything it's just he is amazing uh and and i've listened to some of his talks as well and they're really good so he he's on my list of uh, spiritual sort of um you know amazing people to follow but let's talk a little bit about this course because this is a, I think this this is a good course. Like I've been on the path for a while, so a lot of the theory stuff it was very um, nothing complicated, like very simple, straightforward. A lot of Vedic uh, wisdom that's been around for thousands of years, but they've compressed it into this course uh, along with um, you know the the yoga stuff. So so I thought I'd share just a, a, a one of the bits from the course. Two bits. I'm going to share two bits of the course. I don't want to give it all away, guys, because I want people to actually go do the course. It is really, really great. But I thought I'd share a couple of bits just for people who are wondering, like, you know, uh, maybe you've heard of this before, maybe you haven't. But uh, it's good. So let me tell you a little bit about it. So fundamentally, here, here's some of the principles that they teach. And there's like five main ones. And so, for example, one of them was um, be aware that opposite values are like values are complementary. So if you want to experience uh, lots of abundance in your life, well, you know, you're going to experience lack of abundance as well, right? You, you can't just have everything you want. You're going to, you're going to have the opposite. So just, just remember whatever you're trying to go for, you're going to feel the opposite. And that's just a, that's one of the ones where I was like, oh yeah, that's true. I should be, cause then, then you're not like hating. You're not like, oh, well, I, I can't believe I don't have this. Cause if you don't have it, that means you can also have it. So it's, it's very interesting. So that was like one principle. Another one was, uh, this is a big one, guys. This is, this is huge guys and girls, um, except people and situations as they are this is a huge one especially for me because i like i'm a natural helper like i like to help people i just that's why i'm here i like to wake people up and, and you know in so doing help them and so and sometimes i found in life i'm trying to help people who aren't ready and don't want my help and i'm like but dude like like really basic shit too i'm like you know the food you're eating you're gonna die no they want to eat that food they want to smoke those cigarettes they want to whatever have destructive stuff going on you got to let people do their own their own journey that's the thing they're, they're going to wake up when they're ready to wake up you can give them a little nudge you know and if people if people want to you know take that that's fine but you can't really do it so you, you got to accept people as they are and and situations as well uh so rather than be angry like oh this isn't how i no just accept this is what it is there's a lesson in it for you it's okay it's going to work out don't panic um, so it's really gr great. And then you're just happier when you just accept people in situations as they are. You're like, okay, that's what it is. Cool. I'm not going to wish it was different or dream about it or be upset about it. Just, it is what it is. It's cool. You know, it, it's all good. So that's a good, good spiritual uh, principle, right? Nothing, nothing dodgy there so far, right? Nothing like, what is this about Jesus? Does, do I have to love Jesus? No, you don't have, you, I mean, he's a nice guy, but you don't have to. Uh, it's just, they're just sound spiritual principles. Number three, this is, now, now you might've heard this one somewhere before. Don't be a footballer of other people's opinions. Um, so yeah, don't just, don't just like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody says something and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I think that too. And you just start repeating it. Like come up with your own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, good. So that's pretty obvious. Here's one, here's, here's one. Um, don't look and by the way by the way uh footballer for others opinions also kind of means don't give a fuck what other people think you know what i'm saying so like just because someone thinks something doesn't mean you have to think it and you don't have to care what they think if it's useful care but if it's not useful just don't don't give a shit um yeah that was that was you know something i'm a little familiar with now number four uh don't look for intentions behind other people's mistakes this is a huge one this is a huge teaching because we tend to take things personally don't we like if someone does something and it, and it kind of like 
screws us over somehow, we get pissed. We're just like, oh man, how could you do that? Why would you do that? And they're, they're like, it was a mistake, whatever. But, we're, but the thing is, if we were to accept that nothing anyone does is on purpose, like no one's, no one's like, well, I'm gonna fuck Sasha over, fuck Sasha an asshole. No, no one's trying to fuck you over either unless you're a horrible person. And if you're listening to this show, I know you're not a horrible person because well, the show wouldn't appeal to you because you wouldn't be into self-development. So I know you're a decent person. Um, so no one's trying to fuck you over. And when you realize that, you just go, oh, okay, it's not personal. It's not a personal attack on me. People just have their own thoughts and agendas and issues and problems, and people make mistakes. So just accept it and be like, yeah, it's a mistake, bro. It's all good, uh, and don't don't freak out about it. So that's um, that's a good teaching. I, you can't you can't argue against that. You can't be like, no, that's bad. That's good. Now, and here's another one. Ready for this? You might have heard this one before. Uh, the present moment is inevitable. So yeah. It's just accept the present moment. And obviously, y'all know about that already, but don't fight the present moment. It's inevitable. It's always going to be here. So be okay with what is. Okay, very, very simple, but again, profound, uh, because a lot of people don't do that still. So, you know, it's a good, it's a good one. So that was, that was some of the, the teachings, and there's more. There's more stuff. They give you little bits of homework as you go home each day to sort of, you know, you make a little list. It, it's nothing too crazy, but it, it is good. It is good stuff. And a huge part of the course is the breathing, right? So... Um, they, they, you learn, you learn basically four types of different uh, breathing, and uh, and the main, the, the the one that you do at the end, the main one is the kriya. It's called kriya yoga, and it's pretty intense, and you're you're doing some crazy ass breathing. And at the end of it, I'll tell you what happens. You feel super chill, and I'm not joking. You really feel totally relaxed and uh, in, a, in a blissful state. And amazing things ha- things do happen. Uh, the first time I ever did this, I was. Um, you know, I basically felt like my hands were vibrating and eventually they were vibrating so fast they disappeared and they didn't have hands anymore. And I was just like, whoa. And uh, it's pretty cool. And one guy on the course was like, yeah, I was totally like not in my body anymore. I was just, I was just a being and I wasn't even aware of my body and I realized I'm not my body. And we were all like, yeah, bro, that's the shit. Um, so it is, it's really great. It is great. And I think it takes a long time for you to really get lots of benefits, but it is, it is a great technique. Um, so you learn that on the course. And uh, and I thought I, I thought I would show you one of the one of the breeds. I don't think anyone's gonna get angry because this like they're not on their own. Like it's not top secret. The main one they teach is top secret, but this one is not. So one of the breathings uh, is this. It's cool. So you basically take a couple of deep breaths as you get ready, right? And then uh, get ready. It's not my go all over the place here. So you it, it, they call it yoga coffee. So you put your hands up as you inhale. You can't see my hands, but they're, they're like this, right? And then you breathe out through your nose really fast. And again, you open your hands. And you do 20 of those. And I like how, as I started, a bit of snot like flew on my chin. That's that's the thumbnail. It's just me freaking out, looking like everything, just snot all over my face. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh God! And uh, so that's one of the techniques. And if you do three three rounds of twenty, whoo, you get an energy blast. Like even right now, I'm like, yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit pumped up right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm feeling kind of good. And so you can get high off breathing. This is what I've been realizing. You can get high off breathing. Lots of different types of breathing, but this is a good one. So steal that, use it if you like. And uh, yeah, that's it, really. I just wanted to review the course and say they're, they're really nice people and courses like this attract great people. So if you're somebody who's, you're in, you're in a new city, you wanna just like meet new people who are like good human beings, go to this course, it's great. Not only the stuff on it, but you can meet a lot of great people. And they also have like weekly, I think weekly, yeah, once a week in major cities, you can go and they take you, they, take, they play you the tape and they take you through the main, the main breathing. So you could do it as a group. There's a power to that and then you can meet all the nice people. So it's cool. So when I get, you know, when I get settled in one city, I will be going down uh, to the meetings, and uh, you might even see me in one of them. So that's it. That's my review of the Art of Living Happiness Program. Uh, if you're thinking about doing it, I'd recommend it. I think I think it's great. But if not, you can just steal that little bits of wisdom there and that one breathing thing and uh, use it as you will. Okay. I'm gonna, that's, this video is already getting long, so I'm just gonna end it there. Love you guys, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe! There's gonna be a lot of amazing content, not just fun, but self-development stuff too that makes you a better and happier human being. So if you're not subscribed, I don't know why you wouldn't wanna do that. And if you wanna see the next video in the series, you can also click uh, over here. Okay, see ya!